Well, good morning, friends, church family. This is Pastor Tim from Orwell North Presbyterian Church. And uh, this morning, I want to bring you a devotional on this very solemn day, on this uh, day of remembrance, uh, this Good Friday, and all of the reasons why we remember today. Uh, so the scripture this morning that I'm going to bring you is Matthew chapter 27, and we're going to be looking at verses 45, 46, and 50. Matthew chapter 7, 45, 46, and 60. The scripture says, From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. Now today, April 10th, was probably not the day that Jesus was actually crucified. But today represents the time, the Friday before Easter Sunday, in which we remember his death. Now why do we remember the death of Jesus Christ? It's a reminder of what he was and what he has done. He was innocent, he was God, he was compassionate. He had come to seek and to save that which was lost. He was silent before his accusers. He was unwavering through torture. He was dedicated to do his father's will. He was murdered in order to redeem the least likely to be worthy, me you. What he did was unthinkable. He carried through with what he already knew was going to happen. He took the beating of the whip. He took the crown of thorns into his head. He took the mocking of the soldiers. They placed a bag over his head and smacked him in the face and said, prophesy, who hit you? The funny thing about that is, he knew who it was. He knew his name, how many kids he had, how much money he made, what he had for breakfast that morning. Yet when they nailed him to the cross, Jesus said, Father, forgive him. Then there were the disciples, alone, lost, confused, not understanding what had just taken place. Peter said that Jesus was the Son of God, and now Jesus was dead. How's that possible? Talk about shaking your faith. That's where we are today. We are to remember that Jesus went through all of this for us. We are to remember just how black this Friday was, how horrible, how unthinkable, how unbearable the pain must have been. Why remember today? Because sometimes we get down in our lives too. Sometimes we are hurt. Sometimes we have unbearable pain. And today reminds us of one thing and one thing only. You can be in the valley. You can be without hope. You can feel like nobody loves you and you can be ready to give up. But my friend, don't. Because just as it was for the disciples, just as it was for Jesus, it is for you. Yeah, it's only Friday, but Sunday is on the way. I hope you have a uh, reflective and reminiscent Good Friday today as you think about what our Savior went through for us. Amen.